Hey guys, what's happening? So, ever since I got this CNC router table here, um, it's always been a headache to um, deal with the chips that get inside here. Yeah, I mean, I have a shop vac tip. Um, actually, it makes the, the whole issue becomes worse with my coolant because the coolant makes the stuff sticky. So that cool thing down there, cool tank I built, I think I made a video about it, me making it. But, uh, so last night I designed some, um, of these little, um, <coughs> little t sock covers. <coughs> so, this is the idea, the concept. I put something like that, and this should just snap right in there. If I can get out of there. There we go. Well, I'm trying to do this with one hand, so I'm going to get this even better with that. Very tight. There we go. There we go. So I'm printing out some more right now. This is my new Orca printer. It's a custom printer I designed and built. Um, so I'm going to do like a two. The first ones were a one millimeter layer height. These are two. Just because it would take me a long time to print all these out. So... I'm actually going to print out multiple sizes, and uh, yeah, because some of the stuff I have on here, like the device and the indexer, um, I want to get as much cover as I possibly can, um, so that way I can actually get it butt up right against the actual part. So these are actually 250 millimeter, um, because actually for my bed I calculated it's uh, 1,250, so I can get five of these in there. Everybody, every bed is different. It's hard to do in this one hand. <laughs> yeah, second one there. This is, I'm only, it's harder because I'm doing this with one hand. I bet it pretty tight. All right, so I'm going to do this whole table, and I'll come back. Well, here's a closer look at how these things actually work. See, they kind of flex. See, the, the top one is one millimeter. And see there's a little some rounded edges on the end? That's what kind of clips it in place. So. Alright, so. Um, yeah, I got so frustrated with cleaning these T-slots that I even made some custom, uh, <laughs> like custom shot tips. Alright, so what's funny is the idea came from actually my wire management. So I designed these a while back. Um, some T2020 wireman management slot. See how it goes like that? That's actually how I came up with the, the con, at least how I thought of it. Um, it wasn't even for the T-slot. Um, it was actually more for like the 3D printer stuff. But, since um, I had that design, I'm going to re redo it and do some slots for this table too as well. Yeah, it is a headache getting these chips out of there. So let's see what this one is. So that one's about... 1550. Alright, so when I'm done with that table, we'll come back and finish it, and then um, yeah, I won't film this, this this table. It's the same thing, just a smaller table, but wider, bigger slots. I think they sell stuff like this, but it's hard to find. I, I, for this for this size table, it was hard for me to I couldn't find it. Um, plus, I mean, you can 3D print them, so you know what I mean? And the cool thing I said, because it's not one big strip, um, you know, you can just, you can, for, for, so if you have things on the table, right, I can just, I'm going to create a whole bunch of different sizes that I can swap out depending on what I have on the table. So if I want to add like a bigger thing, I just pop a slot out and I'll make a smaller one, whatever, so. Alright, so I designed some other pieces too. I designed, decided to design some, uh, flush mounts. I mean, you can see that. I'm not sure you can see that in the light. Um, so there's some little ridges on the edge of it here. That's what kind of locks it in place. Um, but see, the length is different than the other one. Because it's flush mount, and I don't want it to push down. Um, so this one actually has slowly, uh, it's about a millimeter over the top. And I was hoping to be able to create, like, water channels. So it would drain to the back of this CNC table. But the flush mount actually looks good, too. So I could do, do the flush mount. Actually, flush mount looks awesome. Nice and sealed. 
Um, the issue is, my thing is, it's like on some areas where there's actually a screw, uh, I maybe have to notch this out to get in there. So I might reprint. I, actually, I really like the flush mount, but um, I've already printed out these other ones. So, um, see, so yeah, I actually was able to. Well, I came up with the idea of the flush mount because I, had, I wanted to slide it under the vise. So, either or will work, you know. Like I said, if you want to use a flush mount, you just got to cut. Well, if you, have, if you have the screw notches in your bed, it's got to cut those out so it'll clear it. But, I'm pretty much done with this thing. You know? All right. All right, so I did some uh, aluminum cutting last night. And uh, let's take a look. So I was running coolant, so this well, it looks I feel like it's pretty dried out now. So let's see. <laughs> it's still wet, but actually I got more aluminum to do it, so I'm not going to fully clean it up. But all right, so I'm trying to figure out the difference between the, yeah, okay. Um, actually, I, I do actually like the, the the flush mounts better. See that there? I mean, you can go, it cleans. I don't know. They both they both have their strengths and weaknesses, I guess. Um, this actually helps channel the water down. Um, but at the same time, the flush mount is, you, you can go, you, well, the, 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 the ones that actually stick up about a millimeter, you can't go sideways, see like that? Whereas the flush mounts right here um, are much easier to go this way. Because it doesn't really matter. I don't know. I'll think about it. So I might, might or might reprint all these and flush mount. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I do like the flush mounts better. All right, cool. Um, up to the thing to Thingiverse, and then I got to design the other ones for that CNC mill back here. Um, I've already actually designed them. I just got to print them out now. So, yeah, that should be like any like what's like a Rongfu. Um, Harbor Freight makes them. Grizzly. Um, they that round call mill. They sell the same thing. But with like, like ten different brands. So, Grizzly. Uh, who's the other one? Uh, Jet makes one. So, all right.